Holy shabloinkin with you on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday after lunch. Hey gang, it's your old pal Rusty down here at Scully's. And as I promised, I tried to get through this deck and now I can't find the card. Here's the card. I pulled this card on purpose and and I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you why is uh, there was so many ingredients in it that I wasn't sure whether or not it was drinkable. So we're going to find out whether it's going to be drinkable and I'm going to read you the card first. Okay? God says, an eighth of an ounce of amaretto, an eighth of an ounce of B&B, &B, which is brandy and benedictine. You could probably sub either one or cognac for that matter for all the stuff that's in it. An eighth of an ounce of triple sec, a dash of dry vermouth, half an ounce of vodka, half an ounce of gold tequila, like this stuff here that's marked right on the side, Reposoda, says right up here, I don't need to look for the further advertisement of 100% agave. So um, it also calls for a half an ounce of orange juice, a half an ounce of pineapple juice, a half an ounce of peach schnapps, and a, dounce, a half splash of roses lime juice. Roses lime juice says lime cordial if, uh, if you want to buy um, another brand. So what I did was I took... Amaretto, B and B, some dry vermouth, a little more on screen, and some triple sec. Put it in a shot glass into the drink. Okay, we have, as it says, half an ounce of vodka. Which I'll give you a view on that. A half an ounce of tequila. Marked Reposoda. Gold, a half an ounce of peach schnapps. Now here's a killer. It calls for a half an ounce of orange juice and a half an ounce of pineapple juice. Splash of lime cordial. I'm going to move all these bottles out of the way. Out of my way, not out of yours. Okay, I'll let you see the B and B. You should probably want to see what that looks like. Okay, so in a glass, as the card says, shake this, pour it over the rocks. Now, as I pour this, I'm going to tell you right now, there's not even enough liquid in this glass for you or me to enjoy it. I'm going to try it. I'm worried. I'm going to try. Okay. Um, not as bad as I or you would have thought, but there's still too much alcohol in this drink. This is a very strong drink. Um, it's, I, I'm not going to serve it to you. It's going to be too strong. It's, uh, it's too strong for me. It's, it, this is a dr obviously a drink if you plan on getting drunk on two of them or three of them, depending on your alcohol thing, I'm going to go back to the base, which is what they started with was orange juice and pineapple juice. And I'm going to add a whole bunch more of that to this drink. Personally, I think I'd make this in a highball glass. But if we add a whole bunch of mix, it's not about getting drunk on the first two drinks. Great. All the ingredients work together. It's nice. It's fruity. The pineapple comes out, but it's still too much alcohol. Okay, much better. Um, um, another um, drinks don't have to be this complicated, but when they are, think about how much alcohol you're putting in there. It's not all about getting drunk on the first one. You can come down to Scully's anytime. We'll let you drink as much as you want. Please don't drink and drive.